Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Saturday, July 12th, 2014, and we're going to read Enoch, chapters 105 through 107. Chapters 105, God and the Messiah to dwell with man. In those days the Lord bade them to summon and testify to the children of earth concerning their wisdom. Show it unto them, for ye are their guides, and a recompense over the whole earth. For I and my son will be united with them forever in the paths of uprightness in their lives, and ye shall have peace. Rejoice, ye children of uprightness. Amen. Chapter 106, Fragment of the Book of Noah. And after some days my son Methuselah took a wife for his son Lamech. And she became pregnant and by him and bore a son. And his body was white as snow and red as the blooming of a rose. And the hair of his head and his long locks were white as wool, and his eyes beautiful. And when he opened his eyes, he lighted up the whole house like the sun, and the whole house was very bright. And thereupon he rose in the hands of the midwife, opened his mouth, and conversed with the Lord of righteousness. And his father Lamech was afraid of him and fled. And came to his father Methuselah, and said unto him, I have begotten a strange son, diverse from and unlike men, and resembles, and resembling the Son of God of heaven. And his nature is different, and he is not like us. And his eyes are as the rays of the sun, and his countenance is glorious. <clears throat> and it seemed to me that he is not sprung from me, but from the angels. And I fear that in his day a wonder may be wrought on the earth. And now, my father, I am here to petition thee and implore thee that thou mayest go to Enoch, our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is amongst the angels. And when Methuselah heard the word of his son, he came to me to the ends of the earth, and he, ha for he had heard that I was there. And he cried aloud, and I heard his voice, and I came to him, and said unto him, Behold, here I am, here am I, my son, wherefore hast thou come to me? And he answered and said, Because of a great cause of anxiety have I come to thee, and because of a disturbing vision have I approached. And now, my father, hear me unto Lamech, my son. There has been born a son, the like of whom there is none, and his nature is not like man's nature. And the color of his body is whiter than snow, and redder than the bosom of, bloom, sorry, bloom of a rose. And the hair of his head is whiter than white wool. And his eyes are like the rays of the sun. And he opened his eyes, and whereupon lighted up the whole house. And he arose in the hands of the midwife, and opened his mouth, and blessed the Lord of heaven. And his father Lamech became afraid, afraid, and fled to me, and did not believe that he was sprung from him, but that he is in the likeness of the angels of heaven. And behold, I have come to thee, that thou mayest make known to me the truth. And I, Enoch, answered and said unto him, The Lord will do a new thing on the earth, and this I have already seen in a vision, and made make known to thee that in the generation of my father Jared, some of the angels of heaven transgressed the word of the Lord, and behold, they commit sin and transgress the law, <clears throat> and have united themselves with women and commit sin with them, and have married some of them, and have begotten children by them. And they shall produce on the earth giants, not according to the spirit, but according to the flesh. And they shall be, and there shall be a great punishment on the earth, and the earth shall be cleansed from all impurity. Yea, there shall come a great destruction over the whole earth, and there shall be a deluge and a great destruction for one year. And this son, who has been born unto you, shall be left on the earth, and his three children shall be saved with him. When all mankind that are on earth shall die, he and his sons shall be saved. And now make known to thy son Lamech, that he who has been born is in truth his son, and call his name Noah, for he shall be left to you, and he and his sons shall be saved from the destruction, which shall come upon the earth on account of all the sin and all the unrighteousness, which shall be consummated in the days on the earth in his days.
after that there shall be still more unrighteousness than that which was first consummated on the earth. For I know the mysteries of the Holy One, for he, the Lord, has shown me and informed me, and I have read them in the heavenly tablets. Chapter 107 And I saw written on them that generation upon generation shall transgress, till a generation of righteousness arises, and transgression is destroyed, and sin passes away from the earth, and all manner of good comes upon it. And now, my son, go and make known to thy son Lamech, that this son, which has been born, is in truth his son, and that this is no lie. And the last verse for today. And when Methuselah had heard the words of his father Enoch, for he had shown to him everything in secret, he returned and shown them to him, and called the name of that son Noah, for he will comfort the earth after all the destruction. And that does conclude Enoch for today. Tomorrow is our last reading. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys so very much. God bless.